Hey guys, what's going on? I have really great news for this woman. She was stabbed 19 times. Slenderman stabbing victim returns to school. The 12 year old Wisconsin girl unfortunately was stabbed 19 times by her friends in a twisted plot to horror. All of the fictional character Slenderman was excited and ready to learn as she went back to school. Family spokesman says the preteen started seventh grade at Honor Inn. Hornin Middle School in Wakuska, Wisconsin, on thir Tuesday after summer. They included as many as eight doctor's appointments a week in physical and emotional therapy, but also leisurely enjoys joy like co cookouts, fishing, playing with her pets, and hunting the mail. For the latest fashion spokesman, Steve Likens tells people. Her first day back in class was fantastic, Lyons said. She was ready. So much so that on an old shopping list her parents keep on the refrigerator, she wrote school supplies. At the bottom, she wasn't nervous or scared. Lion, Lion says she was ready all summer. Oh, God. On her first day in class, she jumped right in. He says, calling her an academic smart girls who plans to continue volunteering at an animal shelter and get involved in music activities. Being back in school creates some sense of normality. Yeah, she likes seeing her friends. She likes seeing her teachers. The girl who hasn't been publicly identified was stabbed May 31st after a sleepover with the accused, one of the, whom she known since fourth grade. Line says the two have said they planned their attack to impress Slenderman. A ghost-like fictional character, according to a criminal complaint, once said that she she thought that if she killed someone, she could go live with Slenderman. Report. Reader's report. This is disgusting. The victim suffered one, 11 wounds to her arms and legs and 8 to her torso, including her heart, lungs, and pancreas, Lyon says. Many of these were nearly fatal, she says. The doctors talk about a silver a millimeter between life and death. I can't read this. Uh, so, I just want to say about this story that. It's to a point where you never know when you're going to be killed or not. And this stupid Slenderman is pissing me off because it's making other children kill one another. This poor girl got stabbed 19 times, and I feel for her. And I'm glad that she's okay. I'm glad that she doesn't have to be known as the girl who got stabbed. So, I might hang on. Let me, first of all, let me copy this article. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up Slenderman right now, cause this name is bugging me. All right, let me look up Slenderman. Here we go. Slenderman. Let's see what the hell Slenderman is, cause it's making me mad. So he wears a tie. He has no face. He's blue black. This is just disturbing because Slenderman doesn't feel real to me because he's making girls kill other people. Let me see. Let's see. He wears black and white image, shows a tall, thin, ghost-like figure with tentacle arms reaching out to a group of children on the playground. Oh, my God. So, this Slenderman guy is creepy. Slenderman went quickly went viral, encouraged additional fan art and online fiction. The figure became in favor on various Creepy pasta sites named for cotton past. This is just disgusting. It makes me sick. It makes me feel like children, kids don't care about what happens. It's just disgusting. Slenderman, stop it. This person, whoever created it, needs to stop because there's poor kids that are dying because of this Slenderman. If you look on the video, I've seen a video. Um, 
it's really it's terrible and it's scary um i advise you not to think of slenderman as a person you want to be friends with or live with it's disturbing it's ridiculous so if i were you i would not look it up because it's really frightening to see thanks guys bye